Hey y'all, lady here. I saw these leggings off wish and I tried to duplicate them. So here's my dupe. Let me show you how I made them. Oof, the wish price is about $12 plus $7 for shipping and I made these for about 10. For this project, I'm using an old pair of leggings. You can get them really cheap. I got these from Walmart for about three or four bucks. Um, cardboard leg template I just cut out of a piece of scrap cardboard. I have white acrylic paint, black acrylic paint, in case I make any mistakes. Um, textile medium, you can find this at Michael's. Um, it's fairly cheap. Um, it it's just basically makes regular acrylic paint into fabric paint. I love this stuff. I use it quite a bit. Um, I have your uh, palette here. Some palettes. I got these from Dollar Tree. I have a little stylus here I'm going to use for a little detail work. Also from Dollar Tree. And my illustration. I'm not going to copy it exactly. Um, I modified it a little bit because I just wanted the head. So, um... Yeah, you can also refer to a picture if you want a reference. I'm gonna try very careful not to mess up my cat bike t-shirt. I love this band, I've seen them a couple times already. I'll put their link to Spotify in the description box or awesome band. Okay, so before I get started, take off all your jewelry because you don't want or anything you don't want to get paint on. So carefully the jewelry away. Um I cut this little thing to roughly resemble a leg. So I'm going to do one leg at a time. So I'm going to stick my cardboard in. One leg. I get this as even and straight as possible. You basically want to work on a flat surface. The leggings are obviously stretchy, so. Okay, yeah, I got one leg. Now we're just gonna slide the other leg out of the way. I'm just gonna slide it under. Okay. Actually, I'll just, nope, slide it this way. Make sure you have the right leg on the right side so you're not painting the back of the leg. palette. I love this. It was like you get six palettes for a dollar and these are like really really good. I have a small collection of them and you can wash them and reuse them. They don't really go bad. Okay. have my design. I'm right handed so I'm gonna try to slide the server so I can reach it. There we go. All the wrinkles smoothed out as possible. A little stylus here. I'm gonna probably use this for some light stippling detail around the neck or that uh, for the shadows. Okay. They are. They roll on the side of the table. So I'm using just these fine point uh, paint brushes. They're not terribly expensive. You can get them. Um, at Walmart, Michaels. Um, I use these mainly for my dolls or if I have some very fine line painting. Um, I'm getting like around the eyes and stuff, but um, this is what I'm going to be using for my cat. Okay, so for getting back to where I was, for the textile medium, you just basically mix a couple drops in with the paint. Acrylic paint's really thick, so I kind of use the textile medium to thin it out just a little. Um, I tend to use a lot of textile medium because I'm going to make sure the paint adheres to the fabric. But the instructions are also on the back. Yeah. So I'm just going to start with one wheel. Um, I'm going to do the white. And then after I'm done painting the lines, I'll go back if I need to and do the black. So. That'll just help me save paint. 
So I'm going to fill, probably going to fill two wells, but I'm just going to, um, I'll, no, I'll just start with one well. Make sure you shake your textile medium up. This is a lot of usage, so you'll see watches the color and stuff. And it dries clear and it kind of looks like a little bit like blue or Mod Podge when it dries. So I'm just going to put some in there in my little palette. Take my brush and let's mix it so it's mixed in really well. Uh, also, if you have like a white colored pencil or a fabric uh, marking pen, pencil or a marking pen, you can also draw your design directly on and just paint over it. Um, I like to live on the edge, so I'm going to freehand it. This is just the old pair of leggings, so if I mess up, there's no heartbreak there. I'll just sleep in them if all else fits. So I'm just going to start with my design. I'm going to lay it down, make sure it fits. It's going to fit. Perfect. And this is just a guide. Um, you could probably even, like, make a stencil if you wanted to, but that's a lot of work. So I draw a lot, so I just like to hand it. So I'm going to start. Go ahead. And I'm just doing little strokes. See how the paint is sticking. And this, I think I put too much medium. So if that happens, you can just add more of your acrylic paint or you can just go over it again. I'll probably just go over this again. It's very relaxing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually gonna do a second well of paint of the regular acrylic, just so I can go on top. So the fine it somewhere. There we go. One line down. Woo! <laughs> it's gonna take me a little while. Curve up for the ear. Sometimes I like to do dots and then I just connect the dots. I'm gonna pause for now and I'll be back with the update just a little while. So, you can see, this is upside down. I got the head done. One of the ears is a little wonky, but like it looks, it looks pretty good so far. I'm actually gonna switch to the stylus for when I do the eyes and the uh, moon. I think it'll be, might make it easier to get all the fine details. And stretchy fabric is a pain in the butt. And it likes to move a lot. Okay, my first time painting with the stylus. So far, so good. Actually impressed. Go on down a tree. I'm very impressed. And 
boom, we got a moon. Yeah, I can see it. Paint the moon white. Kind of excited to see how it turns out, though. And then after I get this leg done, I have to do the same thing to the other leg. <laughs> and I also forgot to add the little earring. I'm going to add the earring in on the ear on this one. And then on the opposite leg, I'm going to put the earring on the opposite side. So they're kind of like twin cats. The quick update, I got the collar and the onk done. And then go tackle the nose and the eyes. And then the side is done. I think this is my favorite part, painting the eye of horrors. I just think it looks really cool and it's just fun to draw. Very carefully. Takes a lot of paint. I'll probably get a refill my um, palette in just a minute. This stylus has been amazing. I did a lot of this with the stylus. It's pretty cool. too much paint. I have a few drops on here and random spots. But I can go back with the black paint and fix it. Cool as that. What it has so far. Almost done with one side. Slightly our application skills kind of suck. There's some parts like this line. I'm just gonna paint back over with black and get rid of these little spots and clean this up a little. Then I'm gonna do the other side. So here's the finished result. I'm not too pleased with it. I went back in with this black paint. But um, it's not my favorite side. I'm sure the other leg will look infinitely better than this. But so far, it looks pretty good. So, as y'all can clearly see, my replication skills suck. So, I'm going to actually cut, I actually cut this out so I can paint around the outside and get the right shape. So that's what I'm gonna do with the other leg. This one will just have to be giant. I guess this will be the male cat and then the smaller one will be like the female cat. Okay, I'm back. All I did was swap the cardboard to the other side. And like I said earlier, I'm just gonna trace around, or yeah, trace around my drawing. So that should have done the first place. It's okay. <laughs> the right or wrong way to do art. 
do my double well here. Take up and my fabric medium. Oops, got a little too much. So I'll get back when I'm all done. So a little progress. You look so much better. Kind of happy with this side. All finished. This one turned out way better than the other one. Well, I have a pit bull and a cat. it's an overall success it's my dupe i will uh put the picture up of the other one i think i might just leave this i'm not putting any shading in um so that's it thank you for joining me like share subscribe and i'll see y'all next time bye